Yeah, that was a quick match. I would reckon around 25 minutes or so. But obviously helped very well along by that extremely quick first game of 21-8. So, Zhang Beiwen can put on her CV the second victory of this year, having won in Peru International earlier, and then now winning the, the US Open here on home soil. And the two players are ready to receive their trophies and prizes, flowers. And it uh, will be Mr. Dan Kloppus, who is the chief Executive Officer for US Badminton to present the prizes. Yonick Suffolk County Community College U.S. Open Championships, part of the BWF Grand Prix Gold Series. The runner-up is Kano Ito, representing Japan. Yeah, we have the Kano second Ito place trophy Japan. and prize money in the so amount of four thousand five hundred and sixty dollars is presented to Kano. For the second time this year, By also Dan run off Klobus, in New Zealand Open earlier this year. So, Mr. Dan Klobus, Chief Executive Officer, Ladies and gentlemen, CEO of US Badminton, the winner's trophy and the prize money of $9,000 here at the 2014 Yonick Suffolk County Community College US Open Championship is presented to Baywan Zhang of the USA by Dan Klopas, the CEO and, uh, and Secretary General of Dan USA Baywan Badminton. Receiving her trophy and the flowers. And she will receive a check for 9,000 US dollars for this win. And the traditional pictures of the finalists. Somehow it's always quite easy to see who has won and who has lost, but uh, that's how it is. Now we invite the VIPs for a group photograph. And the two VIPs, Dan Kloppus and Heisen, who is the chairman of the organizing committee for this tournament.
And here we are back at the stadium. And we're waiting for the women's doubles to come up. And uh, umpire and service judge waiting for them. And here we have the schedule of this afternoon. Played the mixed doubles, the men's singles and the women's singles. And now the women's doubles is coming up. It's Petita Saputi Rako and Sapsiri Tairat Tairachai from Thailand against the newly formed partnership of Shendi Puspa Irawati and Vita Marisa of Indonesia. A very experienced pair though, just played different partners over the years. players onto court. And now I can see the go ahead is given. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to the finalists of the women's title. Here we have the tie pair first. Petita Supertirako and Sapsiri Tyrod Tanachai, followed by Shendi Puspa Irawati and Petita Marisa. The Thai pair is very young, they're tall. Petita is only 18 years of age and her partner Sapsiri is 22 years old. Up against a vastly experienced pair of Shendi Irawati, 27 years old, and Vita Marisa, who is 33 years old. And the last warming up shots on the court, settling in. Obviously, it's a small advantage for the two players who played the mixed doubles earlier today, which was Vita Marisa and Sapsiri Tyra Tanachai. It's always easier when you played one match already and you know the conditions on the court and all that to settle in very quickly. But that's even on both sides, there's one each has played a match before. And here we have the Indonesian pair. And uh, as you can see, they have uh, no seedings, but that's because it's a partnership only formed very recently in the early 2014. And uh, their ranking so far is 93, having played only four tournaments so far. And this is the draw of the women's, women's doubles and their way to the finals. And as you can see, the Indonesian player has been winning very comfortably in two games all the way, but so has their opponents. And uh, we will have uh, an interesting match here. Somehow, I think it's a youth up against the experience, and it will be interesting to see who's going to win. Have the umpire, Mr. Philip Chi of United States, and Jan Peterson, the service judge of Switzerland. Ready to play. Uh, 
And the Taipei is having a ranking at the moment at 40. And the best ranking just last month at 38. So uh, it's a partnership that has played a full year now since July 2013. And the best result was actually in the US Open last year and then obviously in the Hong Kong Open where they uh, got to the last 16. ready. The umpires are calling the match. Love all play. Just having to get the microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, ready? on my right, Vita Marisa, Shandy Puspa, Irawati, Indonesia. And on my left, Satsiri, Teretata Tatnai, Kutita, Sipajiraku, Thailand. Kutita, Marisa, to serve to Kutita, Sipajiraku, love all, play. Beginning here by Petita proved to be very effective. First point, but straight down the middle between the two players, and none of them really reacted to it. Hey. Well, somehow I feel it's a tall order for the young Thai pair to win today's match, but I have obviously been proved to be wrong so many times, so maybe I am today as well. Two, Who knows? One. Oh. You have to consider that uh, Lisa Marissa has played with various partners in women's doubles over the years, but she was very successful with Liliana Natsir when she uh, won the Indonesian Open in 2008. And in 2007, she won the China Service Masters four, and the Southeast Asian Games. Three. She has participated in the Sudirman campaign for Indonesia in 1999, 2003, 2005, and 2007, before she opted out of this national association in 2009 and continued as an individual player. Service order four two. But to her partner, Irawati, has proved over the years to be a very competent three, women's four. doubles player with her former partner Juhari. She got to the semi-finals in 2009 in the Malaysian Open. 2008 to the final in the Indonesian Open. So two very experienced players close to the camera here in blue from Indonesia. And will the young Thai pair be able to withstand the pressure from these two Indonesians? Only time will tell. Uh, good placement. Very good placement by Vita Marisa Six, on that smash. Three. On the right side of the body. Oh. Seven, three. I don't know if it's only me, but I, I must say that I think that Sapsi Re showing a little bit of uh, pressure today. She's uh, not playing as well as what I've seen her play early in this tournament, and that comes for the, the mixed doubles as well, and, and also the beginning of this 
women's doubles, I think she's uh, a little bit erratic and not really feeling comfortable on court, but uh, let's see if she can work her way into it. As I've said earlier, she actually started as a women's singles player and she won the Youth Olympics in 2010 in Singapore. Nine, three. A very commanding lead already for the Indonesians, 9-3 up. There's no doubt that uh, this result in the US Open for the young Taipei will be one of their best results so far in 2014. They have played eight tournaments and they lost first round in every single one of them. against the two young Thai players. <laughs> As we can see, the duration of this match so far is only five minutes. So, once again, Thai players really have to find ways of stopping the train before this game is finished within 10, 12 minutes. Well, what I think uh, the Indonesians are really clever at is how well they move their, their opponents on the baseline as well. How hard the two young Thai pay, uh, players have to work on the baseline, always a little bit out of position there for the pressure, five, making play. easy mistakes. Right. Marisa was already prepared to play a little bit of a defensive role here, and starting to push Sapsiri around on the baseline. But partner wanted to do something else. Service oh, over. Good attack well, and smash on that six. serve, on that flick serve. Right, Followed up, there is there. I think it's so interesting to watch Indonesian badminton players play it because I'm a great, great fan of Indonesian badminton. I obviously followed the game for close to 40 years now. And every time you see a player coming out of Indonesia, they have such beautiful skills. It's unbelievable how their racket skills are. Always, wherever you see them, wherever they come, they have beautiful racket skills. And these two players are no exception, just the same as all the others. Shot. 
14, Very eight. beautiful deception. Just uh, another proof of what I just said before. Look at that, block shot from Marisa, just holding the racket up, guiding it into that gap on the backhand corner. And how easy it looks, but I'm telling you it's not. I actually think that the Thai pair should try to, to rally a bit more and not playing all these flat and fast shots but uh, really moving their opponents around the baseline and playing good lift, solid lift, good blocks and really try to move them and work them hard rather than going into all these flat exchanges where the Indonesian pair is so good. Got punished there. Got away with that one. Marisa had seen it. Moved out to, to close the gap there, but missed it. the last five or six rallies the 18 year old very tall girl today in my book but on the other hand I think her partner Putita is, is really playing well now so she's making up for it Close, it was way out. I think they have to be a little bit more patient and play the game, but I think they got away with playing a lot of winners and they think they can keep doing it, but I think the Thai player is really uh, getting back into it and uh, starting to work their way into this match. Tall Petita it's creating the pressure here. Nice, nice net shot, and Lita Marissa is trying to play it back, but uh, missing it. Obviously, very ambitious to try, but it's how it is. Whoa! First 
over 1950. Class, what a beautiful shot! Look at that. Maybe from the top of the tape. Now, I must say, I'm a great fan of uh, Rita Marisa and uh, her skills. I really think she's one of the most skillful players in the uh, women's game. Oh, here we got. First game for Jurawati and Marissa of Indonesia, the new reformed partnership against uh, the two young Thais, Putita and Sapsiri. three are engaged in uh, what to happen next, how to plan. Soon to be finished. The two Thai girls already on court, waiting for their opponents. There are still discussions going on in the Indonesian camp on the common game plan for this coming second game. Second game, love ball, play. Thailand is into a better start in the second game than in the first. Let's see, time will tell. Good attacking from Petita at the net here. I think she's doing well at the net. Look at that, look at that, that's beautiful. She's really up there, she's making her presence felt. And I think she's keeping the Thai pair in this match. Oh, that's way out. Service over, one, two. to get out of trouble on that one cross push down to that backhand deep backhand she's got to find a way to get out of it because otherwise that will happen every oh. single time three four Over four, 
Service over Pushing five, very four. hard and flat down the backhand. And straight away she's got racket up, ready for the next one. And the reply is coming straight and she finishes it. Understanding of this game, I think. Still very raw, very young, very inexperienced, but I think uh, she's showing, showing really good signs of uh, a coming good doubles player. Look at that, that's what I said before. Six. That pushed out oh. to that deep backhand corner. They've got to find ways of getting out of trouble from there, and she did that. That's a thinking player, I like that a lot. Play that cross court really nicely. cross right into that forehand position of Rita Marita. Some dangerous things to do, but uh, she got away with it oh. and got a point. But that's uh, there's nothing to go second time. Nine, Just seven. in this second game. Nice on it as, as well, and still so fast and flat. I, I, I'm a little bit surprised. I, I expected uh, Sapsiri to be the stronger of the two time players, but uh, I must say that Petito is playing, playing really well. And here we got confirmation of uh, match duration of 22 minutes. And uh, Irawati and Marisa winning the first game 21 15 and 11 7 up in the second. 11 7 play.
Going wide. But not bad. Good option from the Sapsiri. The pressure was just too great. to play the net and she's there straight away. Well played. So, a healthy lead of 15-7. The ties really have to find ways if they can, but I doubt it. I doubt 16, it. I think they're up against a really experienced pair with lots of facilities in the game they can play. A very good attacking game, but they can play a very good defensive game as well. They're both very strong in the net, got good power from the baseline. So what can this young Thai pair really do in this situation? It's not easy. But uh, with some years of hard practice, more physical strength and all that, then obviously I believe that uh, they can be up there and really play well. Already they are... 40 in the world ranking, and surely they can make it up to the top 20s. Once again, you know, Rati really good for the net. Look at that, she's serving. And then there's the return of the surf, and she's intercepting that third shot so well. And then able to finish it all off here at the net. Really well played. This textbook doubles these days. That third shot means the world, whether you are in a commanding situation or not in a rally. backhand corner trying to cross it again did not succeed but that's the way to go if you haven't got the power to push it all the way to the baseline an option is to go cross court as what she was trying to do there uh, trying the easy way out but uh, oh that was close call in Saw this push again, and it's setting up really nicely. Service order 20, match point 9. And 11 match points has arrived for the Indonesians. 29. Surely it won't be for long. Ah! And here it comes. Yeah. And Vita Marisa will be uh, the only one in this tournament winning 
two titles. She's already won the mixed doubles earlier today. Now she won the women's doubles with her partner, Irawati, 21-15, 21-10. So that will add on very nicely to the ranking of the Indonesian pair. As I said earlier, they have only played four tournaments this year, and you have to get all the way up to 10 tournaments to get your perfect and maximum ranking. So they still have another six tournaments to go. It's your 10 best results that counts. And obviously having played only four, there's still a long way up there but they are already 93 on the world ranking. So surely I think it's a pair that we will see in possibly the top 15 in a very short while. Here we've got the confirmation, 28 minutes, and the score line was 21-15, 21-10. Thank you. And while we're waiting for the prize presentation, I can say that we only got one match to go this afternoon, which is the men's doubles, the final of the men's doubles. And it's a match I personally look very much forward to. The two Danes, Matthias Bow and Carsten Mullins and Hobbigens Jungjit and Puang Wolpek of Thailand. I think we will have uh, an awesome match. Looking forward to Two finals today, lost the mixed double earlier, first first match of today's finals, and now she also Ladies lost to Vita Marisa the in the women's the doubles. In the but she's only 22 years old and got the time in front of her. She's got plenty of opportunities in the future, so I'm looking forward to seeing how she will do, and I believe she's got a great future in front of her. These two players, on the other hand, in badminton terms, is possibly not having the future in front of them. But how well they play still. 27 years old and 33 years old. Irawati, 27. Marisa, 33. And here we got the confirmation of 2014 years old women's doubles champions. With the trophy and the flowers. Now we invite the VIP for a group photograph. taken and very soon we are ready to move on to the last final of the day as I said and that's the men's doubles
and here we are. This afternoon schedule, starting off with the mixed doubles and followed by men's singles, women's singles and the women's doubles. And as you can see, Marisa, Vita Marisa from Indonesia now won two titles this afternoon in the mixed doubles and the women's doubles. And we have now the men's doubles coming up as the last match of today. And here we have the former world number one, Carsten Morgens and Matthias Bow of Denmark. And uh, they are up against a good, very strong Thailand pair, Mani Pong Jungjit and Ibin Pong Hua Hua Pek. And here we've got Carsten Morgens in front and Matthias Bow after him. Mani Pong Jungjit and his partner, Ibin Pong Hua Hua Pek.